Well, folks, coming at you with an emergency video. Now, the situation has taken a massive turn, all right? Get ready for the climax. I got a bunch of videos that I want to share with you. And what if I tell you that now South Korea has jumped in? They have called out the Western woke mob. They have called out IGN because, as you know, IGN has been going pretty ham. I mean, it was only one guy as of right now. IGN then apologized. But you know that Wokey from IGN literally came out said that if you play Stellar Blade, you're, you're probably going to end end up beating your wife it's like what the actual crap we talking about then but we this is guys stay focused first of all like the video if you want true female characters dislike the video if you want like uh, biological males uh, in your Bruh. games uh, dressed up as female uh, and, and all that but what if i tell you that now south korean news channel has opened up their video literally guys i kid you not Bruh. they have opened up their their video like this and we're gonna be examining the goods guys hide your kids hide your wives and uh, roll it check this out so for weeks there has been immense outrage in particular from game journalists yeah. about the design of this character they are claiming that it's problematic in many different ways and one of the strangest complaints about this design yeah. is that these journalists claim it is unrealistic which yeah. is very ironic because this and if you play this game you're gonna end up beating your wife up first of all gamers don't have a wife okay yeah. most gamers i know some of you have and some of you're gonna say wrong, wrong. I, I get it even i'm gonna have some someday maybe okay <laughs> But generally speaking, gamers don't even have a life. What are these things saying right now? It's, okay, let me continue first. This character is, of course, a 3D scan of a real-life Korean model. Yeah. Now, this is something that has been covered by Maxim Korea. This is a news outlet from Korea with over a million oh. subscribers on YouTube who have addressed this issue. They have recently re-released their interview with the model that was scanned for the yeah. design of Eve. Wait for it. And they've also released their own news piece about the outrage surrounding this character. In Man, look at that thumbnail, though. I'm pretty sure the Wokies here in the West is like, this is such a slap to our, like, Western society here. W South Korea, first of all. W Gamers. Yeah. Shout out to every one of you watching this video. Shout out to everybody that's against this crap. Because they're literally... This is misogyny. This is the real misogyny. Because they always want to say gamers are misogynists. Gamers don't like having female characters. We love female characters. When the females are actually done the right way. We just reject the woke bull crap. We just reject the feminism bull crap because the feminism is literally brainwashing all the real females and are, are teaching them they, that hey be strong queen be independent queen these things are brainwashing the females and thinking that they don't need a man men need women and women need men simple as that okay S simple as that but they want to teach the the, the 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 queens that hey you can be strong you can be independent you do not need a man and now we are going as far as like this this is not a female this is a biological man bro what the hell are we doing doing like dressed up as a female uh got the got the wig this is not a female dog this is this is a man uh, but they're saying this is a female so there's a whole lot of woke bs happening as well and, and you look at this bro like look at that like holy crap we're not even talking about like any like mommy milkers hanging out she dressed up perfectly fine what's so what's so wrong about it but nah, you, you, you know what gamers are toxic and they would address this whole situation as the product of political correctness. Yeah. What is our realistic body type? Let me actually lower the volume down and we can... Yeah, defining realistic may be difficult. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is difficult here in the West. I agree. I do apologize on their behalf. There was a recent incident criticized for an unrealistic body type. IGN France reviewed the demo of Korea's game. Stellar Blade, the character Eve, appears bland like a doll created with an exaggerated aspect by someone who's never seen a female however the character eve is in this game was modeled after a real can a character model after a real per person's body be called unrealistic she asked and then ends up showing the the actress behind damn homie guys we must stay focused okay we must stay we must focused. stay focused brothers we must absolutely does it make sense to call a body based on a real person unrealistic, she says. Uh, does this make sense? It's another issue related to political correctness we, <laughs> we've been hearing. Therefore, to educate, the Shin body is indeed realistic and exists in reality. This is such a slap. I mean, Korea based, absolutely based. We've decided to re-release the video of Shin photo shoot. It's, uh, it's like, holy crap, bro. This is like... Imagine this. Uh, you know what? We are on Korea's side. Absolutely. 
the description if you want to check it out. But like I said earlier in the video, there is another ongoing theme throughout this Gamergate uh -oh. situation, and that is members of the industry openly sharing their hatred of white people. And to do that, we return to who else but Alyssa, the senior editor at Kotaku, who is responsible for this Pulitzer Prize winning article about the Sweet Baby Inc. situation where she intentionally omitted key details of this situation because she didn't want her friends in the industry to look bad. She's also responsible for this magnum opus where she said, hi, you can't be racist against white people, thanks for tuning in, and this would be mocked by many people and also hit with a community note disproving her claims. Well, like any other bad sequel, she has released another Damn. tweet trying to defend this notion Yo. where she would once again get clowned on. This is I mean, sequels are usually always the worst, so I'm not too surprised. Surprise. from a few days ago where she says racism is about systems of power therefore you cannot be racist against white people the dominant group that maintains and rules almost all power systems in the western world period now of course if this was an intro class at a liberal arts college she would probably get a pat on the back for yeah. this statement <laughs> but a lot of people rational people have an issue with this it is very strange that someone like Alyssa and other members of the game journalism this is absolutely insane and it's like and they know they are wrong, wrong. that's why they turned off the replies as well holy I mean, yo, what what is happening and she tweeted this from earth bro she tweeted this from earth could you imagine guys can you imagine and before we get down to the climax and before you see like the actual like plot twist guys wait for the good stuff but real quick i want to say guys if you want to help support the channel consider becoming a member by clicking the join button around the subscribe button uh shout out to all the people that are uh, shout out to all of you that are already members on the channel all right let's get back to the content here boo boo Scene, have spent more time over the past couple of weeks defending racism against white people than talking about video games. It's very strange. And you know what? You can look up any defini definition of racism. You will never find an exemption for white people listed in there. Also, if you want to argue semantics, I can make this even more simple for people like Alyssa. All you got to do is ask them a very simple question. Do you think it's appropriate to treat people poorly based on the color of their skin? If you don't have an immediate answer to that and you have to give paragraphs of explanations as to your answer, you're part of the problem. Normal people don't think it's acceptable to treat people poorly based on the color of their skin. And this is yeah. something that people like Alyssa have been fighting for their lives to defend for weeks wee, wee, in a row. Wee, wee, it is not something that is valuable to their career in any sort of- I mean, the the, str uh, the sad reality is that like kids today, no, no disrespect though, but like, holy crap, like kids today, my, even my age, or m not my age, I'm like 28, I, I feel like that most people around my age uh, knows the difference between like what a woman and what a male is, but like let's just be real, like 18 years old, 15 year olds today, especially here in the West, Canada, US, right, I'm in Canada by the way, I I, I know guys, like Canada is equally if not way worse than America right now, I, I agree, so you don't have to like, Bruh. I apologize on their behalf first of all, <laughs> but like kids here, university goers college goers they don't even know the difference about between a male and a female you ask them what a male what a female is they're like <laughs> they're searching what what the hell is going on bro like seriously it's like you ask your kids if you're like a dad right if you're a dad your mom watching you got kids or or maybe you're like a big brother watching this video and you got siblings and your siblings or your little brother goes to school i mean ask this question to uh, him like nine out of ten times he will have trouble unless you have uh, parented your kids right or you know you're a good brother and you're teaching your values your moral values and i mean like logical stuff and all that if if your kids are not programmed then they're gonna be able to tell you a difference but like let's be real they're programming the kids right now they're programming the youth right now uh, 20 years from now bro uh, the society here society society i, I don't want to sound like andrew tate but like society is gonna crumble like let's be real bro like this is absolutely wild and the the, the fact that we have an actual korean youtube channel literally just mocking us here rightfully so i mean go queen absolutely bro we deserve it right now that the fact that they are actively mocking us because this is just foreign to them right because they don't have any of this problem there they totally understand what a male and what a female is but it's just that we have forgot forgotten that and like <laughs> stay focused first of all guys but like okay let's continue man wait in fact it looks bad 
on them for their career and also the people that they're attached to like Kotaku for example on all of this too confirming many of the preconceived notions that gamers have about people in the industry D well she would gamers? continue with more rationale behind her statement saying gamers. and no your pseudo intellectual little well what if you swap in the word black for white stuff doesn't work because race doesn't exist in a vacuum and the effects of the last couple of centuries of racist institutions are still here prevalent every day thank you kick rocks racism Bruh. and prejudice are Bruh. not the same i know sixth grade was a rough three year period for you projection i'm not letting you all dogpile in the comments so go circle jerk somewhere else where of course she re she locks the replies hey, to yo. this thread and of course if hey, she's going to give lessons about things like prejudice i will give her a quick lesson in what prejudice means here is the dic dictionary definition okay damn homie pulled up a dictionary though yeah. you can see listed right here an irrational attitude of hostility directed against an individual, a group, a race, or their supposed characteristics, which def basically sums up everything that Alyssa and other game journalists have been saying about white people, about men, and other characteristics of people they don't like. <laughs> now, of course, it's not just race that Alyssa has an exception for. It's also ageism. So we have this tweet Damn. from a, uh, about a year ago saying, being ageist is bad except when- It's all about the stars. I believe in astrology. I look at the stars and you know what? Stars tell me my future. I like to have a couple of rocks on me. You know, I'm strong, I'm independent. It's about old white dudes in games journalism. Yeah. And white recently bad, she's yeah. been attacking Mark Kern, mocking his age because he is 56 yeah. years old. And this is something that, again, is not acceptable. What does his age have to do with anything? And why does anyone's age in the uh, I mean, he, he got wisdom. 50, 56 years of wisdom on you, your dumbass, bro. ...history have any relevancy whatsoever. But this is reflected in other members of the industry who've been attacking Mark Kern. You have this individual here named Kim saying, Folks, we got a guy the same age as your dad looking to protect the hot gamer girls of the world. Absolutely nothing creepy to see here. Just an old man looking out for your daughters. Note, must be hot. Uh, interesting fan fiction you wrote there. Very strange amount of detail that you came up with using your own imagination about this situation. But of course, if you look at their profile, they are a narrative director at PlayStation. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Man, you know what? Yesterday we did a video, and I'm not sure if you guys saw this or not. A couple of days ago, we did a, did a video about woke Microsoft because Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft has gone fully woke, right? Uh, even as far as to say, and they have tell they are telling their devs, hey, no curvy female characters allowed. They are saying no curvy females, and this is what they want. They want like uh, th this is a biological male, first of all, dressed up as a female with actual like wig, so and, and holding a sword, being strong, independent. So this is what Microsoft wants, and surely you know Sony has also gone woke, woke, uh, not woke. What am I saying? So yeah, Sony has gone woke, uh, gone woke as well. Uh, narrative director at PlayStation, represented by Genji, screenwriter, legal legend, stolen hearts. Fable, certified paranormal psychologist, very Scottish. Yes. Well, this whole idea of people getting into trouble on social media for these types of claims is something that can be directly tied to someone named Liana Ruberts, yeah. who is a now former Destiny 2 community manager and co-lead of accessibility at Bungie. Because recently there's been a round of layoffs at Bungie and unfortunately for Liana, she was one of the people who was let go. Now, of course, we don't know the actual reason in particular. She'll probably never say, but a lot of people have been tracing it to some of these statements shared yeah. by Mark Kern. And she previously worked at BBC as well. I guess I'm not talking about like uh, the, 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 the BBC, this one, like the, the, the friendly uh, I'm talking about the British Broadcasting Channel, okay? where this community manager would make many anti-white comments like this uh -oh. down here saying people of color can't be racist against white people and replying to another person saying sounds about whites and down here saying because he's a, a a mouthy little white what's up with these community managers though like why are you like holy crap and these community managers are giving these studios a bad rep you know what uh here's the thing though i'm pretty sure there's some good woke people as well i would like to believe that there are some wokies working at these studios that are just like you and i right they're like okay you, yeah their beliefs are different than us fine right the only problem we have is that we don't want to see them forcing on us right we're not forcing our beliefs on them and we don't want them forcing their crap on us right simply that's where we at so i would like to believe that there are some wokies working at these studios that are like okay i'm gonna keep my beliefs to myself i'm here to work and i'm here to do my job here i'm not looking to inject my woke politics in it right i would like to believe you know best case scenario i'm trying to assume the best here but 
maybe that's wrong maybe that's wrong i don't know I, I mean i couldn't tell you i'm not working at like any video game development studio here right but i would like to believe some of them are actually just people like you and i it just happens to be for the most part we're just seeing the the surface so definitely let me know your your take in the comments for sure very very curious to know your thoughts but like these community managers are given these development studios a very bad rep and i and I'm, i got a question though why do you guys hire woke liberal women the problem is when you hire a woke liberal woman with a hate towards like a specific group especially like white people like that obviously it's gonna make you make your studio look bad maybe that's not even your tagline right maybe that's not even your motto it's getting really really insane i i, I would say i don't want to be against white liberal women here but nine out of ten times it's a bad call hiring a white liberal woman guys like don't don't do it bro don't do it uh, unless you are dealing with like with a rational individual then understandable but if you're not stay away from it it's you're gonna your company is gonna get a bad rep and apparently she got fired we do not know why but i guess it's because of that crap hey boy yeah so here's the thing if you're a company doing a round of layoffs you have a lot of difficult decisions to do and if you're looking for people to get rid of i would imagine the people causing controversy uh, controversy on social media would probably be the first ones to go i mean this does nothing for your company you're alienating yeah. people on yeah. social media in particular potential customers i don't yeah. care how many members of the industry come up and applaud you for attacking white people a lot of gamers are going to see this and feel ostracized or alienated by and, and i'm not even and i'm not even white i'm brown i'm pakistani so i'm from a i'm racially brown right and i'm looking at this crap i'm like bro why you guys are here to make a game no and, and especially a community manager you're here to speak to fans ask for feedback promote the game market the game and occasionally put post like dog photos or cat photos if you got them right you're not here to do all this crap i don't get it man i really don't get it bro like these comments and are going to go somewhere else and not support the games that you're a part of but of course when mark would share this they were hit with comments like this saying bro you are the problem with white people so not only is this statement racist of course it's also greatly misinformed where the note would hit them with this saying mark kern was born in taipei taiwan and has stated in the past he is ethnically chinese of course it's always the white people that are hurting these individuals on twitter but moving forward liana would address this round of layoffs in the people that are sharing these screenshots of negative things she has said about white people in particular saying this i'm not going to defend myself because there is nothing to defend my character will speak for itself yeah. i refuse to let go queen go queen myself be a pawn in a grift game leave me out of it my actions speak for themselves my words especially in the last two years where i had done a lot of shadow work to heal speak for themselves now you can see savvy here she's been featuring a couple of our previous videos she asked a very simple question that would not get an answer from liana saying do you choose not to defend your actions because it would be difficult to explain? Your actions have been deemed inappropriate enough for termination. Do you genuinely think your phrasing was appropriate? Is it acceptable for anyone to use tweets as means of justification for termination? We've seen others lose jobs for yeah. less. And that's the thing here too. Like, the reason she's not mentioning anything specifically is because she probably has enough self-awareness to realize that those tweets don't look good. Okay, especially if you're going to future employment. <laughs> yeah, Imagine like, trying to have to explain those tweets to a future employer. Trying to explain and, why- And what if your boss is like a white man? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he not gonna like what you have to say about the white people. And like, come on, bro, like, what? And you're white on top. You are white as well what what is going on? How delusional you gotta be? Who brainwash you in into like this? Like, you guys always say gamers are toxic. You guys are always saying gamer are ra gamers are racist. Meanwhile, we don't care, bro. Like, we play with people that are cool. Regardless of their skin color, their gender, their ethnicity, whatever. We don't care about uh, who they worship, whether they're atheist or religious. We don't care. We play games with people that are cool and we play games that are good and that we enjoy. Simple as that. Simple as that. Who hurt you this bad? Who hurt you this bad? Why you think it's okay to discriminate against another group of people based solely on the color of their skin. It's a pretty hard position to defend, and I think people with self-awareness like Liana know that these things look bad, okay? And that's why they choose not to directly address any of them in the statement. But she would go on to say, down here, speaking to someone in particular who will realize very soon, fan behavior, to be honest, not worth the time yeah, or engagement. Yeah. Twitter yeah. is not- Fans 
are toxic. Gamers are problematic. Not the real world. And this is the only place he has any relevance. Please go to therapy and heal some of that hate in your heart and leave me out of your trauma. The conversation on my side, yeah, my side is, is over. over. Yeah. I regret to inform you this is another round of projection. But of course, who are they referring to? Well, it becomes very obvious. So uh -oh. down here, someone says, hold up, what happened? Not important. It's not worth giving him more engagement. Yeah. I refuse to contribute. She refused to contribute. Let me just uh, drop some heart emoji. I'm going to be going to be strong, independent. Ah, dee -hee. Guys, this is what recently happened. We have PlayStation. <laughs> a whole lot of drama with PlayStation. Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, we have Xbox drama. Both of these companies are going woke one more than the other. Check out both of these videos and let me know your take right after, man. What What is going on in gaming, guys? I, I couldn't tell you.